All right, folks, check it out. This is my tea labs compost tea air snake or compost tea snake or whatever in the world it is that they call it. It's making air and it's making compost tea and it's making a lot of air actually. Big bubbles, gigantic bubbles. Those folks at Tea Labs believe in big bubbles, big powerful bubbles and that's what I got. Um, I like it because I know it's breaking apart the hyphae and the old air system that I had didn't really do that. So the hyphae tend to grow in more strangular um, colonies and that doesn't spray that well without being broken apart. So we're gonna see how this goes. It looks really, really good. It's a pretty good quality product. You can see my bag just kind of sitting in there floating around. We recently shifted over to making the more mycology-based teas to complement the fall. And thus far, it's been going really, really well. My dog likes it. I like it. Oh, that slipped out of my hand. Oh, man. Did y'all see that? Get away from my tea, please. Um, yeah, just one more quick short. I want to get these things out there so y'all can see that I actually do make this stuff. It is real. This stuff is going in the garden very soon. It's ready now. Am I ready? No, we're still talking about it, right? Um, yeah, in short, basically what I have going on here is I've got a 35-watt air pump. It runs non-stop through that quarter-inch ID hose right there into this green pail. Doesn't allow that much light through it. I like that. You can kind of hear the pump's a little bit loud. That's why it's down here by my aquatic center in the pond because I don't really want to be listening to it. And I also have some sneaky suspicion about maybe it produces some forms of electromagnetic waves that might actually interfere with my internet. We don't want that. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Have anybody else experienced anything like that? It is plugged into a GFI outlet. Safety first. And um, this runs all year long. So, good stuff. Y'all get one. Go get one. Go get one. Go get one now. Do you have it yet?